Today I'm going to talk to you guys about what I am bringing in my carry-ons for traveling with my two months. If this is your first time here, please don't forget to like and subscribe down below and join our YouTube family. We'd love to have you. All right, so we are getting ready to go on a trip across the country with baby Zane. Zane is only two months old, so he doesn't really need toys right now, which makes it a perfect time to fly. I don't have to pack extra snacks for him. I don't have to pack tons of toys or entertainment for him. He's really easy going. Either he'll be crying or he'll be sleeping. It's a toss up. So I thought that I would show you guys what I'm taking in my carry-on. As a disclaimer, we are checking a bag that has all of our clothes and all that stuff in it. So I'm not taking any of that kind of stuff in these. This is just what I'm taking for us on the plane. So let's dive in. Let's start with Zane's bag. So first off, I've got some extra diapers. So I didn't have to cram these into the checked bag. I put a few extras in here. And then I have this waterproof travel bag that has a shirt change for me and two easy changes of clothes for Zane. The center pocket is where the main stuff is. I have Zane's birth certificate. Because he is so young, they don't always say that you have to have it, but I'd rather have it and not have to need it than not have it and need it. So I'm just taking it as a precaution. I have an extra blanket in here for the same reason as the clothes. I have two extra binkies put in this case right here. And then this carries our saving graces. This has gripe water in it, it's Tylenol, it has cleaning supplies, all of that kind of stuff. His nose Frida is in here. All of that stuff in this nice little case. I'm also bringing Johnson & Johnson hand and face wipes. I can give him a quick bath in the bathroom if I have to, if he has a complete blowout. These are my in-case formulas. I do not like using this pre-made stuff, mainly because when they throw it up, it stains everything. Now, I have this that I'm going to be transferring to my bag once we go through security. I just wanted all the formula in one place, so I can just take it out and show it to them in security, and it's all in one spot, and then I'll transfer it after. Um, by the way, as a side note, we are pre-check approved, and I will be doing a video later on how to travel through pre-check with an infant. So this is my other can of formula. They ask you not to travel with more than 12 ounces of formula, so I should be under that, um, but either way, we'll see how testing goes. The last thing that I have in this bag is our carrier. This is my Ergo Baby Carrier. I haven't decided if I'm going to wear him through the airport or if we are going to just use the stroller and put him in there, but we are taking this either way, so I figured I can also use this on the plane in the seat if I want to have my hands free, and since Curtis and I, none of us, know if we're sitting together or not, um, this may be a big help for me. All right, guys, should we get on to my carry-on? Okay, guys, so this, like I said, is my trusty carry-on. I've taken this with me on plenty of flights, so let's dive in and show you what I have. First off, I'm gonna show you my hidden pocket here is my electronics pocket where I have my laptop, its charger, everything for it in there. In this top little pocket that I just can access really quick, I have some cash and my chapstick. Yeah, just so I can grab things if I need it. Not a big deal. Gum, tissues, because I have been a little stuffy, and my power cord for my phone. There's also a couple hair ties in here, just in case I forget one. I always bring hair ties because I always forget. Okay, this pocket over here has my water bottle, which I need to empty before we get there. And over here, we have Zane's things. I have a burp cloth in this little pocket. And then down here is the thing that I'm probably going to be using the most, which are these pacifier wipes. Airports are dirty places. There are tons of people going through them. You do not want your binky touching anything and then going in your child's mouth. So I totally suggest getting some of these. These will be a lifesaver and hopefully help you and your baby not get sick. I have my travel pillow, my snacks, 
and then we'll get into the few things that I have for Zane in here. If you guys watch my What's in My Diaper Bag video, you know what this is. This is my thermos that I keep warm water in for Zane so that I can use this on the go to make his bottles. Um, I'm going to try and take this through TSA and see how it goes, but we'll see that in another video. Okay, so the next thing in here is the Playtex drop-in bottle and some liners. So the reason that I'm taking this and I suggest you take something like this on the plane with you is because if you have to feed a baby formula on the plane, it'll be much easier to have something you can just take and throw away and not have to worry about trying to clean a bottle. This way I can take one bottle and I don't have to worry about packing a ton of bottles with me. And then the last thing in this main pocket is my changing pad wristlet. I love this thing. This is actually a Eddie Brown edition of this. It opens up nice and big. And then it has a place for wipes and diapers that is already in there. I can change him on it, put that stuff away, fold it up and be good to go. And the other thing that I have added to this is this, these Arm & Hammer smelly bags. They're like the bags you use for dog poop, but for diapers. And they make diapers not smell at all. You can put like three or four diapers in one of these things. So yeah, this is a great tip. Plus, I'm going to be using these in the hotel room because they don't have baby diaper pails in hotel rooms. My last compartment that has things in it this is where you guys will go when I'm traveling. It's also where my tablet is and extra chargers and batteries and stuff for you guys, my phone chargers, that kind of stuff. And that is really it, you guys. Um, let me know if there's anything that I missed or that is your must have for flying with an infant down below in the comments. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and as always, we'll see you next time. Bye.